A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw the per unit impedance diagram for the power system network given below. Problem 1. Draw the per, per unit impedance diagram for the system shown in figure. Choose base voltage of 132 kV and base MBA 20 for the transmission line. Here, the base KV and base MEA for the transmission line is given. And other component in a power system we are going to find out. So first of all, base MBA is given. So base MBA equal to what? That is equal to 20 MBA. This is common for all the components connected in the power system network. So this is the common one for all the components. Next I am going to find out the base KV for each and every component. So base KV. First of all I am going to find out the base KV for generator and transformer 1. See for a generator it is connected to the low voltage side of the transformer. So what is the low voltage side that is 12.5 kV. 12.5 kV is connected to the generator. So generator take the base as 12.5 kV. So base kV of the generator is 12.5 kV and base kV of the transformer 1 also 12.5 kV. Now the base MBA for the generator and transformer 1 is 20 MBA. Base KV for the generator is 12.5 KV and base KV of the transformer is 12.5 KV. Next I am going to find out the Z per unit nu for the generator. Generator that is equal to what is the formula Z PU volt into MVA nu divided by MBA old into KV old by KV mu the whole square. Okay, first of all, I am going to find out the per unit impedance for the generator. Okay, so is it PU equal to new? Is it PU new equal to what is ZPU volt for the generator 0.15 into what is the MBA nu that is 20 MBA and what is the MBA volt that is also 20 MBA. So 20 by 20 what is KV volt? KV volt is 11. KV nu is 12.5 the whole square. Cut this. And we will get for a trans generator J 0.116 per unit. And next I am going to find out for a transformer 1. For a transformer 1 I am going to find out the ZPU mu. For a transformer what is the impedance or reactance that is 0 0.1. What is the new MBA? 20. What is old MBA? That is 25. Into what is the old KV? 12.5. New KV also 12.5 the whole square. So is that PU of the transformer that is equal to J 0 0.08. Next I am going to find out the transformer 2 and the motor. So what is base MBA? Base MBA is common for all the components. There is no change in the base MBA for motor and transformer 2. 20 MBA. And what is the base KV? Base KV for transformer 2 and the motor. See in a transformer 2. Uh, the motor is connected to the low voltage side of the transformer. Low voltage is 11 kV. 
So you have to take 11 kV is the base kV of the transformer 1 and the motor. Next I am going to find out the ZPU nu of the transformer 2. Okay, what is the formula for a transformer 2? 0 0.1 into what is the new MBA? New MBA is 20. What is the old? Old MBA also 20. Okay, into what is the old KV? Old KV is 11. New KV that is 11. The whole square. All are cancelled. We get the answer J0.1 per unit. And next find out the per unit impedance of the motor. So ZPU mu equal to what is the reactance value? J0.15 into what is the old value? Old value is 11. New base is also 11. The whole square into the old base is 15 and new base is 20. So 20 by 15. Okay, what is the value? The value equal to J0.2 per unit. Motor, transformer one is over, transformer 2 is over, generator is over and also motor is over. Next I am going to find out the transmission line. So transmission line, how to find out ZPU equal to is that actual by is that base? So first of all, I am going to find out the is that base. So what is is that base? Is that base equal to kV square divided by P. That is the is that base. What is kV? 132 square divided by 20. So that is the kV square. Okay, now I am going to find out the ZPU. ZPU is, is it actual is given 200 plus J500. Is it base? That is 20 by 132 square. The answer is 0 0.0.2296 plus J 0.574. Okay, this is for the transmission line. After getting the value for the transmission line, I am going to find out the load. What is the? Next, we are going to find out the per unit impedance of the load. So, for finding out the per unit impedance, first of all, we are going to find out current drawn by the load. What is the current drawn by the load? Current drawn by the load. That is equal to 5 MVA, 5000, 5 into 10 power 3 divided by 5000 KVA, root 3 into 11 KV. Angle is cos inverse 0 0.8. Okay, next, that is lagging, so minus cos inverse minus 0 0.8. So the answer is 262.44 angle minus 36.87 degree. Then find out the impedance of the load. Impedance of the load. So what is the equation for impedance? That is 11 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into 262.44 here the angle 36.87 degree that is equal to 24.2 angle 36.87 degree that is the impedance of the load I am going to find out the base impedance of the load. Base impedance of the load. 
Okay, what is the base impedance of the load that is equal to 11? 11 square. 11 is the base KV and the base MV is 20. So, the answer is 6.05. Then using the base impedance, so this is the actual impedance. So, using the base and actual impedance, we are going to find out the per unit impedance. So, per unit impedance that is equal to actual by base that is 24.2 into 36.87 degree divided by 6.05. That is equal to 4 angle 36.87 degree. That's all. So, this is the way to find out per unit impedance for all the components in the power system network. After finishing this, I am going to draw the per unit impedance diagram. How to draw the per unit impedance diagram? Before that, I have to write all the values. First of all, I have to write for the generator. So, generator per unit equal to per unit impedance is J0.116. For a transformer 1, J0.08. Then for a line or transmission line, 0 0.2296 plus J0.574. And for a motor, J0.2. Transformer 2, J0.1. And for a load, 4 angle, 56.87 degree. That's all. So, these are the values already we got. So, using this, I am going to draw the per unit impedance diagram. So, per unit impedance diagram. To draw the per unit impedance diagram, first of all, take a generator. What is the equivalent circuit of this generator? Here, EG. Write the, draw the impedance here. So, you have to put the value J0.116. That is connected to the transformer 1. So, for a transformer 1, J0.08. Then, it is connected to the transmission line. That is 0 0.2296 plus J0.574. And then it is connected to the transformer 2, J0.1. Again, it is connected to the motor. So, motor also, that is similar to the generator. Instead of EG, you have to put EM. So, J0.2. And then it is connected to the, both are parallel now. It is connected to the load. So, the load is represented by one resistance and one inductive coil. So, this is the load. Okay, then you have to complete this. This is the impedance diagram. Here you have to put the value for the load. So, load equal to 4 angle 56.87 degree. So, this is the per unit impedance diagram. Thank you. Have a nice day.